brought to you by wikivd.com. Robin Gibb Robin Hugh Gibb was a British singer, songwriter and record producer who gained worldwide fame as a member of the pop group The Bee Gees. Their younger brother Andy was also a singer. Robin Gibb also had his own successful solo career. Gibb was born on the Isle of Man to English parents, Hugh and Barbara Gibb. The family later moved to Manchester before settling in Redcliffe, a suburb of Brisbane, Australia. Gibb began his career as part of the family trio. When the group found their first success, they returned to England where they achieved worldwide fame. In 2002, the Bee Gees were appointed as a CBEs for their contribution to music. However, investiture at Buckingham Palace was delayed until 2004, with record sales estimated in excess of 200 million units. The Bee Gees became one of the most successful pop groups of all time. Music historian Paul Gambaccini described Gibb as one of the major figures in the history of British music and one of the best white soul voices ever. From 2008 to 2011, Gibb was president of the Heritage Foundation, honoring figures in British culture. After a career spanning six decades, Gibb last performed on stage in February 2012 supporting injured British servicemen and women at a charity concert at the London Palladium. On 20 May 2012, Gibb died at the age of 62 from liver and kidney failure brought on by colorectal cancer. As an instrumentalist, Gibb primarily played a variety of keyboards, notably piano, organ, and Mellotron on the Bee Gees album Odessa. He also played acoustic guitar and organ on his debut solo album Robin's Rain. Childhood Robin Hugh Gibb was born on the 22nd of December 1949 in Jane Crickle Maternity Home in Douglas, Isle of Man, to Hugh and Barbara Gibb. He was the fraternal twin of Morris Gibb and was the older of the two by 35 minutes. Apart from Morris, he had one sister, Leslie Evans, and two brothers, Barry and Andy. As children in Manchester, Gibb and his brothers began committing petty crimes such as arson. In 1953, the Gibbs watched the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II on the television. Their neighbor in Williston, Isle of Man, Marie Beck was the friend of his mother and her sister Peggy. Another neighbor, Helen Kenny, was living in Douglas Head as Kenny recalls. Barry and the twins used to come into Mrs. Beck's house and we would mind them, Robin once said. To me, we're going to be rich one day, we're going to form a band. Little did I realize who meant it. 1955-1958, The Rattlesnakes in 1955, when the Gibbs moved back to their hometown of Manchester, the Gibb brothers formed the Rattlesnakes. The band consisted of Barry on guitar and vocals, Robin and Morris on vocals, Paul Frost on drums and Kenny Horrocks on T-chest bass. And the quintet performed in local theatres in Manchester, their influences at that time such as the Everly brothers, Cliff Richard and Paul Anker. In May 1958, it was disbanded as Frost and Horrocks left, and the name changed to We Johnny Hayes and the Blue Cats. In August 1958, the family travelled to Australia on the same ship as Australian musician Red Simons. 1958-1969, Bee Gees the name was finally changed to Bee Gees when they lived in Queensland, Australia. The Bee Gees' debut television appearance was in 1960 on Desmond Tester Strictly for Moderns. When they performed, Time is Passing By, when they signed to Festival Records. At the start of 1963 they released their debut single, The Battle of the Blue and the Grey. 
The 1964 single, Claustrophobia, is notable for being the first song that features Gibb as an instrumentalist playing melodica. The first Bee Gees record on which he sang lead was, I Don't Think It's Funny, in 1965. In 1966, he wrote his first song, I Don't Know Why I Bother With Myself, that was credited to himself. Also in 1966, Gibb and his brother Barry took more solo vocals. The group's first period of British success in the late 1960s started with New York Mining Disaster 1941 and the band added drummer Colin Peterson and guitarist Vince Meluni to make the group as a band. They toured Europe in 1967 and 1968 as well as the US in August 1968. The band's first UK was Massachusetts, which features Gibb on lead vocal. On the day it reached number one, the 5th of November 1967, Robin Gibb recalled to the Mail on Sunday on the 1st of November 2009, Gibb spoke of the effects of seeing injured people being carried into the hospital on stretchers in a 2012 interview, it all got too much for me. I knew that I couldn't help anyone, and I couldn't cope with that. I had to get away from the hospital. Sir Molly, his then-girlfriend, and I checked ourselves out, and went to stay at the London home of Robert Stigwood, our manager, then to my parents' house in Buckinghamshire. I had a delayed reaction. In the days that followed, I started crying and crying, and couldn't stop. On 13 June 1968, Gibb recorded demos for seven songs, accompanying himself on guitar. The tape listed Robin alone as artist and songwriter. Of these, one, Indian Gin and Whiskey Dry, later appeared on Idea. On 27 July 1968, Gibb collapsed and fell unconscious. He was later admitted to a London nursing home suffering from nervous exhaustion, and was moved to a facility in Sussex on 31 July. To continue his recuperation, the group, about to embark on its first U.S. tour, cancelled four dates after Gibb had a relapse and flew back to England for additional rest. Gibb co-wrote Only One Woman, the Marbles' debut single, which was a hit in several countries, especially in Europe and New Zealand. The Bee Gees single, I Started a Joke, on which Robin sang lead, was not released as a single in the UK, but was the group's first US top 10 hit. Gibb claimed that the melody of the song was inspired by the sounds he heard in a jet engine. In August, the band started to record Odessa. In January 1969, Gibb co-wrote another Marbles single, The Walls Fell Down, and co-produced the sessions that same month. However, the rivalry with Barry eventually prompted Robin to leave the group and begin a solo career after his song. Lamplight was relegated to the B-side of Barry's song, 1st of May. Meanwhile, there were rumors during this period that he was dealing with drug problems, allegedly leading his parents to threaten legal action to make him a ward of court. The Bee Gees' last recording session with Robin was in February 1969. Gibbs' last performance with the group was on the Tom Jones show and Top of the Pops before leaving the group. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.